So the irritants which cause uh, inflammation, there is an infiltration of CD8 type of lymphocytes, macrophages and neutrophils, hypersecretion of the mucus because of the hyperplasia of the submucosal goblet cells that are there in the larger airways that is there and because of them the secretions will come inside. Also, the goblet cell in the smaller airways also get hyperplasia there. So, there is an excessive mucus secretion. This mucus can plug the lumen of the bronchus and simultaneously the inflammatory cascade produces an inflammation of the bronchial wall also. So, in summary, you have various pathogenesis mechanism. You have the risk factors which could be environmental or host. You have discussed them. There is an inflammation that is happening. There is an antioxidant. There is a... Uh, pro-oxidant type of groups. You have the deficiency of certain of alpha-1 antitrypsins. So, the proteinases will act more. There is fibrosis that happens more and associated with the hypersecretions due to mucus gland hypertrophy, goblet cell hyperplasia, narrowing of the inflammatory airways. All of them will cause the patient going into breathlessness, cough with expectoration. So, chronic bronchitis predominantly is cough. So, cough with expectoration and exertion dyspnea. Remember in emphysema it is predominantly dyspnea whereas in chronic bronchitis it is predominantly cough with expectoration. The cough classically smoker's cough, early morning cough, hacking, early morning cough. Later it could be throughout the day. It can be postural variation sometimes when there is certain uh, seasonal variations can be there. Usually sputum is scanty to mild, sometimes can be associated with hemoptysis also. Whenever there is an exacerbation, it can become mucopurulent. Breathlessness, usually incidence in onset, less common with chronic bronchitis, but eventually once pulmonary artery hypertension develops, the patient goes into dyspnea and exertion. All these symptoms are aggravated whenever there is a seasonal variation or there is an infection or there is an environmental change. All these symptoms will worsen.